Ivo Segovic is a winemaker, and his home is on the Adriatic coast of Croatia. We descend into a wine cellar straight out of the cask of Amontillado so that he can sample the progress of a recent vintage. Ivo turns to me and asks if I'd like to see the other cellar. He takes me to a dock in front of a house that looks like a movie set from under the Tuscan sun and tells me to put my gear into the boat. I like this guy. Having learned at the Department of Redundancy Department not to repeat myself, I'll just use the term picturesque seaside village once. Croatia's long maritime history is evident everywhere you look. Modern and, let's say, vintage vessels lie side by side. We immediately fall in love with this picturesque, sorry, quaint harbor town. It's been nice here, but we've got the urge to submerge. We head back down the coast to Juliana, where our friend Sonia is going to take us diving. An arbor of vines reveals a tiny alleyway. Just a few steps from Main Street is Barbara Dive Center in its ivy-colored halls of diving academia. Sonia's been a diver since she was just 15 years old and her family's been in the diving business for years. We take a short stroll to the harbor where the boat awaits. To call this a beautiful place would be to damn with faint praise. The October air is a bit crisp, as is the water temperature, but forgotten in the anticipation of getting under Croatian bubbles for our first dive in the Adriatic. Regarding the undersea terrain in such a leisurely manner is the very definition of hydrotherapy. My favorite world. My Graceland. This could easily be the most relaxing dive trip I've ever made. Green fields of seagrass undulate in the slight surge. Sonia points out an eel who's come out for a bit of screen time. Not far away, a hermit crab seems to be learning semaphore. In the dives that follow, we traverse walls and seamounts, shining our dive lights into colorful nooks and crannies along the way. Occasionally, we discover resident worms like this feather duster, inverted so as to resemble a frilly table lamp. Further along, a bristle worm seems to be telling us, look, but don't touch. Large schools of fish punctuate the seamounts. One of my favorite dive sites is called Hard Coral. I wonder why they call it that. Barbara Dive Center has obtained special permits from Croatian authorities, allowing them to legally dive the wrecks here. This is one of them the German torpedo boat S-57, the most popular dive site in the area. Sunk in 1944, she is now a haunting reminder of that page in Croatian history. Resembling an American PT boat, it still has a torpedo on the deck, as well as some of its guns. Twisted steel on the upper bow seems to have been designed by M.C. Escher, and butterfly fish swim beneath the skeletal remains. After inspecting the old hulk from stem to stern, we clamber aboard the boat and head back to Juliana Harbor. I know that the sentence, I could totally live here, is something I say about a lot of the places I visit, but this time, I really mean it. I'm serious. When I hit the lottery, I am so buying this house. You'll remember that this is where I met Ivo Segovic to take him up on the offer to show me the famous undersea wine cellar. We suit up and settle into the skiff for the short hop to the site. We turn on the air and drop in. The silty bottom makes things a bit murky, but stretched out before us are several collections of the famous wine. It's called Navis Mysterium, which translated from Latin means mystery ship. Navis Mysterium has won numerous international awards and is a rising star in wine and foodie culture. A long-time scuba diver who grew up here, Ivo discovered that the water temperature in some places remained at a near-constant 57 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. In one of the slickest moves in winemaking, he decided to bottle the wine, then seal it inside clay amphorae. The Navis Mysterium wines of Edivo Vina are aged underwater for up to five years. We inspect row after row of the jars and a few bottles. 
and it's back to the boat. Evo demonstrates the proper method of opening the bottle by cutting through the triple layer of wax protecting the cork from seawater. Displaying a technique gained over years of experience, he checks for color and clarity, and most importantly, for taste. Dive tourists visiting the area don't have to make arrangements with the boss to see amphora encased bottles of Navis Mysterium. Barbara Dive Center has been granted access to a small cache of amphorae and bottles just a few minutes outside Julian Harbor. In water much more clear and shallow than that of the secret cellar, we can make close inspections of the clay jars. Our time in Croatia is almost at an end. But before we take leave of this remarkable country, we spend a few days in the ancient city of Dubrovnik. No wonder it resonates with location scouts from Game of Thrones. Fans will recognize a lot of these locations from the show, including the infamous Walk of Shame scene in Season 5. As we knew it must, the sad time has come. I have to start saving up to buy that house. It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. From Croatia and the Adriatic Sea, I'm Paul Cater Deaton, and I'll see you under the bubbles.